Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we will see how to create a 2D drawing in SOLIDWORKS with the help of a 3D model. Here we created this simple model and we will see how to make this simple 2D drawing in SOLIDWORKS and we will see how to make this section views and few basic things we will we are going to know in this tutorial. So let's start to create this simple tutorial for SOLIDWORKS drawing. Now here we will learn how to create a simple drawing in SOLIDWORKS with the help of 3D model. So this is the simple model we created and we saved as model number 67. Now let's create. There are many ways to create a drawing. So the basic way is just you can click new and select here drawing and click OK. But once you click OK it will ask you your landscape, your size of sheet. So anything you can choose it but this is the letter we will see cancel it and the another way you can directly enter from here make drawing from part assembly. Now see here any landscape or size you have to choose so I will choose here landscape B ok. Now once you click ok it will give you in your left hand side we view palette you will see there are multiple things uh, multiple options so you have to choose any one and drag it so I'll start with front plane I'll start drag it then drag top side top view and the right hand side view and if you want isometric view you will see here click OK now even though if you like to increase your this is your basic or first view custom scale even though you can change the scale from here see but that is okay even though you can choose from here user defined 3 it's going too small so 1.5 that's fine but to, that's fine okay now even though if you like to change right click on sheet and here go to properties and from properties you can change the sheet name scale also you can change here 1 by 2 and angle third angle is the standard angle people going to choose so I'll keep third angle even if you can change you will see first angle now see it's change but we will keep third angle this is the standard way now even you can choose individual color so if we want to change this color here uncheck use parent because this is your parent styles now see individual I can change keep high quality oh that's it you can drag it now this one hidden line visible now you will see here hidden lines are visible even though we can define the import annotations and dimensions from here also or there are one more options I'll tell you or simply just uh, go to annotation model item and here choose entire model but we will not do we will do one more thing then we will apply a drawing in a um, full view first we will see how to make now here one option detailed view circle just drag now see click now here you can define all the things even you can choose hatch full outline even though you can choose uncheck this parent and see this color also we can change it's up to us okay now
model view model item here you can choose entire model and click all the things so that all the details will come here click ok now see all the details comes here now let me do one thing just arranged it because it it seems too hustle and bustle now see even though you can apply if you want to apply dimension individually you, we have option here in annotation a smart dimension and you can assign a separate dimensions a, or individual dimensions from here if you click you will see a small window you can you can click here type a typical dimensions now see okay even though if you want to make the dimensions go to other use font uncheck font and from here we can change the size of and uh, font style everything from here so i'll keep bold size i feel that's better or if you like you can make formula but bold is enough now look now this is the section view what we created those thing you don't like just simply delete it so this is the section 1 here you will see a detail view of this circular part i told you even though you can change this one okay this is the our drawing even uh, we have one more option here section view if you go to section view you will have multiple number of cutting first we will see if you drag you will see so you have to put your cursor on the center and it will ask you section view click okay and you will see drag in any side wherever you like so let me drag this side now here you have too many things documents font that means the same font we will keep slice see if you click slice section the only it will sh show you shaded portion okay now even you can import dimensions from here see it's dimension if you uncheck even though if you like to change color see it's change that's it even though okay even though we can change the dimension also from here so see this thickness 12 mm so skip double click on this and here we will change dimension let me change 5 mm okay now here click refresh now see it's change go to window and click here model now see it is change so this is the simple way even you can modify our 3d model also from here window model 2 double click and edit 12 mm okay refresh that's it so this is this few basic things which is uh, really helpful for creating a drawing drawing in solid works with the help of any kind of model i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solid works thanks for watching